What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I want to talk about a few things. Danny Garcia versus Pauli Malignaggi is coming up this week. Now, first, let me get the purses out of the way, and I want to respond to an interview that I've seen. As far as the purses, Danny Garcia will generate $1.25 million to face Pauli Malignaggi. Malignaggi, his paycheck, his purse is actually surprising. I know he's coming off a layoff and a loss, but he's only getting 550000 And Danny Jacobs, who is champion, is getting 500000 So I I thought Pauli Malignaggi would probably be in the six hundred and seventy-five to 750000 mark, not five fifty, which is very close to what Danny Jacobs is getting. But whatever, that's their money anyway. So that's the type of paychecks that Al Heyman is providing for this Barclay event. Now, let's handle the next order of business. I watched an interview, shout out to The Boxing Voice, link in the description, where Angel Garcia was talking to Ness about a rematch with Khan. And he was like, no, no, Amir Khan can't get a rematch at 147. Because if Danny Garcia were to have lost to Amir Khan, he wouldn't have given us a rematch. Now, I want to shed some light, and this is nothing against any camp, but I don't agree with that. And these camps throw me because they always have so much representation. They got the fighter speaking, they got the manager speaking, the promoter, the father, the trainers, and you get so many different stories. In some interviews, you see people like Angel Garcia, and they'll say, oh, it's up to Al Heyman. We, we just prepare for the fight. I just get Danny ready for whoever they throw at us. But then you have other interviews like this one where he's basically playing matchmaker, saying who he won't fight. And to me, I love the idea of Danny Garcia versus Amir Khan at 147. It would, like It's a good rematch. Amir Khan was having success in that fight, right? And then he got knocked out. So it was a good fight. Why not? And things have changed. Amir Khan got a new trainer. Danny Garcia um, beat Lucas Matisse. Then he started losing to some boxers in the in the eyes of the public. Guys like Herrera and Peterson. And if anything, Amir Khan has struggled with Chris Algieri. But he also looked really good versus Devin Alexander. So... I don't really know who would win this particular fight. Now, Khan's chin is always suspect. It's always there for the taking. But obviously, Danny Garcia knows he can hurt him. But Khan also knows that too. So would Khan just fight a totally smart fight and um, not spend so much time in the pocket? But could Danny Garcia pull the trigger again? These are questions that I want to know. So I, I don't know why Angel Garcia is making a video saying, that no, 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 because, again, let him tell in other interviews, he says it's up to Al Heyman. Now he's playing matchmaker and saying what can and can't happen. And, again, boxing is a sport of climbing up that ladder. And I think if a fighter, if two fighters get to a certain point and a rematch was a good fight in the first fight and it's warranted and it makes sense to even have a rematch, then... Why not? Why would you, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to fight the, the best available competition. And that's a good fight. Danny Garcia has actually said something opposed to what his father says. And he says he would like to fight Kell Brook or Amir Khan. So Danny Garcia sounds like he wants to fight. But for whatever reason, Angel Garcia is saying he doesn't. So check out the interview. Let me know what you think. Me, I don't care about all the politics and oh this and that. If it's a good fight, and I'm not big on rematches, I'll, I'll tell you that. I've, I've always maintained the same thing with rematches. I don't really want to see a rematch unless it absolutely needs to happen. Like for me, if we're talking about Mayweather, I'd rather see a mayweather Cotto rematch over a Mayweather-Canelo because I think Cotto looked better versus Mayweather in the first outing, even though they both clearly lost. Cotto had a better showing and Canelo lost in a worse fashion. So, again, neither of those rematches need to happen. But if he wants to fight the winner for, like, middleweight titles or whatnot, then that's something else. So, either way, those fights make a lot of money. Amir Khan versus Danny Garcia, I think, would generate a lot of interest from the boxing with two named fighters. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with Angel Garcia that Amir Khan doesn't deserve a rematch? Or do you agree with me saying that it's a good fight? And they're at different points in their career. And you would love to see it. Drop me those comments. Make sure you like my video as always. 
Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.